Hey there, Jason DeSalvo from Federa Guitars here with Matt Garrison and Joey Lorisella, my partner. These are my partners in crime. <laughs> um, we're here today with the Matt Garrison Standard Series 2. Uh, the reason we say Series 2 is we, felt we built a first batch of somewhere between 45 and 60 instruments. I don't remember exactly how many. Um, that which had, all sold out. Probably. Which all sold. That had a combination with a Pal Ferro fingerboard and a box elder burl top. We ran out of all the box elder burl that we had bought for that instrument, and mm. so this is the Series 2, which has a Madagascar Kingwood fingerboard and a Madrone burl top, as will probably the next 40 to 50 of them that we make going forward uh, until we run out of this wood. Joey's going to talk a little bit about the specific specs that make a Matt Garrison standard Matt Garrison standard. So Joey, what are some of the things that make Matt's instrument unique? Okay, we're starting out with a master volume, an active passive tone roll off, which works when the bass is active or passive. Then you have a balance pot, which you can, it's sort of like a pickup selector. You can to go forward, go to the neck pickup, to the rear of the bass, it's the bridge pickup, in the center both pickups are on. Then you have active bass, mid, and treble, cut and boost with a detent in each pot, so you have a flat, flat spot. The three switches, one switch is an active passive switch. The other switch is a coil tap switch. And when you flip the switch up, it taps the coil. So you put them in single coil mode, you can put it down, it's in humbucking mode. The third switch is a mid-range switch. Flip the switch up and it gives you an upper mid. And that'll determine what the pot does. You put the switch down, it's a lower mid. And that's the 18 volt system. 33 inch scale, 26 frets, extended range. This has a tighter spacing than his original signature uh, custom bass. This is a 17.5 string spacing. And on the Series 2, by, we picked this Madrone burl top, yep. which is a harder wood than the box elder burl. So it kind of changed the speaking voice of the instrument. Gave it a little more for articulation, especially oh, yeah. for upper, reg upper register. For sure. and stuff. A lot of what Matt does in his style. It kind of, it kind of uh, changed the speaking voice in a good way. And um, all the hero block, three-piece maple neck, and the uh, which we noticed from the construction of this instrument, the the madrone burl top, which is a harder wood, very hard. It's harder than the box elder, and the uh, the Madagascar rosewood is softer than the pal ferro. Mm. So the two of them together kind of complement each other, yep. and just make the instrument sound a little more punchier. And it's got it's warm and punchy at the same time, so it's got a, it's yeah. got a it's really great character. Yeah, we still got, have the hip shot on there too, and the, the electronics are the same. Are yeah. the, same the electronics are the same. The custom. Yeah. I think I think an important thing to point out is all of our standards, if there are made exactly the same way as the custom instruments. So when we make a Matt Garrison signature instrument um, for Matthew, the one that he's going to take out on the road or what have you, or for any other customer. It's made by exactly the same hands in exactly the same way as this instrument. In Matt's specific case, the Matthew Garrison standard has the same Seymour Duncan pickups and even the custom shop preamp. Mm -hmm. So the Matt Garrison standard is, for all intents and purposes, a full-fledged custom Federa. The only thing different is we get to make batches of them from the same woods, which increases our efficiency and lets us give them to you at a bit of a better price point. Yeah. So. Matt, what do you think about comparing this to the first generation of the Mac Garrison standard playability, tonal, you know, tonally? Whatever? Yeah, this I think, as Joey pointed out, there's something. There's uh, the the tonal quality is slightly different, but the interesting thing is that it really complements the other instrument in, in in the sense that they both can render the same results, you know, in terms of what you're doing on stage. Um, but this one has a slightly different 
different tinge or color than the, the than the other one. So, and you can, the same could be said vice versa. But they both, uh, you know, kind of they just do exactly what they're supposed to do, and just it's an incredible instrument. I just had the chance to play this, you know, ten minutes ago, and I'm shocked <laughs> by how beautiful it is. I mean, just to, it's so balanced, and it, everything's just in the right place. But that's maybe because it's kind of built around my spec, so everything kind of works. <laughs> But it's it's really a fantastic new version of the uh, of the standard series series two. So, and I yeah. think probably the best thing to do is to let Matt play it. He's uh, played one tune already that is very you know very Matt Garrison and one of the things that we love about Matt's music. I think the next time he's going to take us through some paces in terms of I think it's important to realize that just because you can cop the kind of tone that Matt's become very well known for, you can also play this instrument. You could go out and play it at a blues gig. You could go out yeah. and play it in any gig. Absolutely. And that's going to show you that and demonstrate that. These yeah, the are great not, thing, The great know. thing about these, uh, what we're trying to put, what we put into all of our, our instruments is that you can take one bass out and achieve what you want to achieve musically. Yep. With it. You know, whatever style you're playing, you know, I go out, I play club dates, I play clubs, and I take out one instrument and it works for me. It's yep. the same thing with Matt. Absolutely. Whatever he's got to play, he plays on here. Yep. You don't have to bring five instruments. No. Nope. <laughs> So, so it's great, you know, and uh, and this one is little, small. You put it in the gig bag and take it on the road and have a ball with it. Yeah. So. We hope that you enjoy this instrument as much as we've had, you know, making it, collaborating with Matt over the years. Um, it's a lot of fun to make these. We hope you enjoy playing them. And uh, let's let Matt do his thing and hear what this thing can do. Thanks a lot. <laughs>